<laughs> Good morning. Uh, again, on a lovely day. Not as cold as it were on the last one, thankfully. I'm at Tissington again. Tissington car park, a different car park. This is a nice little five or six mile circular. Don't know what we're going to find. It uh, depends on which way we go. I have got company today. I've got the other half with me, Jane. So I get some nagging done. But yeah. See where it takes us, eh? Shall we? Let's crack on. See you further down. Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Right, first checkpoint at day. Just a trig point, and you've always got to touch a trig point, haven't you? So here we are at Woburn Hill. There's Woburn Hill trig point. Jane is inside of me, she's just sorting the gloves out. I don't know why. There you go. I should have given you a warning first, shouldn't I? So yeah, that was Woburn Hill trig point. Slightly off and track, but you got to touch a trick point. I like these walks where you don't know where, what you're going to see. It's always a surprise. So we'll get back down to track and continue. A bit windy, but sun's out. That's all you need, isn't it? If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter? Right, we're in Bradburn. Apparently like they are a doubly thankful village. Jane's asked me what they're doubly thankful for. 
and I don't know to be honest. I don't really care. I just nodded to be thankful. And here is the Great Hall. I'll show you the Great Hall. With sheep in it. Has that got it? Yeah. When I looked over the fence, I thought they were a sheep. Turns out it's not a, sh a real sheep. I'll show you that one, I know. That's not a real sheep. So, anyway, we're going to carry on walking through the doubly thankful village and try and find out why they're doubly thankful. Right, I'm just going through the little village of Brassington, very picturesque, very quiet, I must say, very quiet indeed, and some beautiful, beautiful properties. Wow, yes, yeah, very nice. Right, we're climbing up and over from Brassington to Carlsington. If uh, Jane gets out of the way, just noticed that you can see it anyway. It's what I've just put on. Right, what it is, there's no top maps about it. It looks like some sort of round building or structure of some sort. So, anyway, we're going to carry on because this is a bit of a climb and it's making it worse because it's muddy I don't think Jane wanted to do a climb today No I didn't She's getting one So I'll see you in a bit I'm enjoying it now Slowly 
the distance there you can see it's gleaning behind me Carsington Reservoir we was going to sit down there and have something to eat but to be honest with you I can't see me can you to be honest with you it would have been too far to walk and today being today I've got quite a bit of way to go I don't want to be stuck out in dark not with this one anyway so yes we, we decided to carry on so we're now at Old Knoll um, a group of rocks at the top of Carsington you'll see them in a sec and I've just found out the uh, energy windmills I'm going to pass directly under them, so that would be something interesting as well. Well, it will be for me. Probably not for your guys. But we're going to crack on. I'm enjoying it. I don't think Jane is. I am. Because she keeps saying to me, you didn't say there were any hills. <laughs> but guess what? There's some hills. So, yes, we're at Old Knoll. I'm enjoying it up to now. I didn't think there'd be much to film when I came out this morning. But it turns out there is. So I'll see you a bit further on. Enjoy. Right here behind me, up there, is the king's chair. Can't get round to see it because it's all fenced off. But that is the king's chair. Right at the very top, I can see why. Because it's overlooking some magnificent scenery. Um, I will turn the camera around in a sec and I'll show you what it's overlooking. But behind me is the king's chair and this is what the king would be overlooking if I was sat in it. I mean, if he was sat in it, should I say. Right. Well, I couldn't lie. I just got onto Midshire's Way. I think it's part of Tissington Way. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that one. There's a sign back there saying Tissington Way, but there you go. So yes, we're on Midshire's Way. I'm going to stay on here for quite a bit. So let's see what we can find on this one. Let's hope it's intriguing me, you see. Let's hope it's uh, somewhat interesting. we we'll leave the big windmills behind us. And walk along this nice flat path for a bit. So I'll catch you in a bit. Despite you, because all we ever do is fight. Oh, and I really think it's time we say goodbye. Baby, I'm too bad out with us. I can't take no more screaming, hurting each other's feelings. Baby, I'm just too tired and tired, and you don't wanna listen. It's better we leave it. It hasn't always been like this Remember when we were in love You were always there for me And we could talk for hours I don't know what happened to us Oh, cause we bring each other down right now And I don't even know why You know I really think it's time we say goodbye Baby, I'm too fed up with us I can't take no more screaming Hurting each other's feelings 
Maybe I'm just too tired to talk And you don't want to listen It's better we leave it all behind This way, you know this ain't working anymore. It's something that we should have done a long time ago. You know I think we should say goodbye. Maybe I'm too fed up with thoughts. I can't take no more screaming, hurting each other's feelings. Maybe I'm just too tired to talk And you don't want to listen It's better we leave it all behind <clears throat> I can tell you something, this is a long bloody walk, this path. It's never going to end, as Jane puts it. But she's starting to feel it, bless her, told lass. She chose it, six miles, she said. Six miles, she said. I think we're looking at 16 already, and we've got Tissington Way to get to yet. So, a bit of a way to go yet. Not looking good, sun's starting to set, the hill, we're all eight aren't we? So we're going to keep on this track for a little bit longer till we hit the Great Tissington Trail and then it's follow that, see what we can see on the other, see if we get back to the car in daylight, so I'll catch you in a bit. Well, that's it. That's his walk. He's got there before it lights goes, which is a good thing. Just waiting for old Jane to catch up. See, so we got there before it light died. Uh, hope you enjoy it. We certainly didn't. Seriously. Only well, meant to be six miles, turned out to be 16. But there you go. One is all never sees her. Right, we'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoy it. See you later. <laughs>